A very warm welcome to today's lesson. And we have a quadratic equation here, and we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. Now, the way I like to tackle these is to write out the values of A, B, and C very clearly. The value of A is the coefficient of the x squared term, so that is four. The coefficient of the x term, that is the b value, so negative three, and the constant here is the c term, that is negative two. We can now go ahead and substitute those values into the quadratic formula. So we've got minus b, and b is negative three, plus or minus, the square root of b squared, so negative 3 squared, minus 4 multiplied by a, which is 4, multiplied by c, which is negative 2, and that is all over 2a, so 2 multiplied by 4. Now that is this substitution step, and I want to stress this very clearly. Do not perform any calculations or any simplification at that step. It is purely substitution. And the reason for that is during exam questions, there's usually one mark assigned for that substitution step. So it's nice and easy to pick up. Okay, we can go ahead and simplify. These two negatives would give me a positive. I don't need to write the positive, but I'll, I'll pop it in there. We've got three plus or minus the square root. Negative three squared is nine. I've got this negative here and this one. So that's going to be a positive. We've then got four multiplied by four is 16. And then the two is 32. That is all over two multiplied by four, which is eight. So we have three plus or minus the square root of 41 over eight. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button. And remember to click on the little notification bell.